تعرفينا عن اسمك وليش انت متواجده معنا اليوم وتخبرينا عن القصه تبعي انا اسمي رمزيه توما من العراق جاي لبنان من 2014 انا وزوجي وولادي اثنين وابني المتجوز عنده صبي هلا خلى صبي له وهو مسجون بالسجن هلا مسجون وانا ما عندي ولا مساعده ولا شيء ما عندي ايجار حتى ادفع عنده صبي صغير ما بعرف كيف اعيشه Ramzi's story is an original one, yet is a very difficult one. Her son is imprisoned, her family displaced by war, her husband too old to work. She lives in a world of pain, hunger, persecution for her Christian beliefs and the constant worry of providing for her family. And we all know that Ramzi is not alone. For every day in Lebanon, in Iraq, in Syria, look now in Ukraine, in Russia, in Africa, on our southern borders, millions of children in the world go without food. Families suffer with no shelter, with no papers. People perish because of the lack of the proper hygiene and medication. Families are forced to leave their homes and loved ones, millions of them without passports. Or worse, they are murdered, not welcomed in countries, or they are threatened to be killed or trafficked because of what they believe in. Remember what the Lord told us in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 25. For I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was thirsty and you gave me something to drink. I was stranger and you invited me in. I needed a cloth and you clothed me. I was sick and you looked after me. I was in prison and you came to visit me. The Apostolate of Our Lady of Hope, also known as St. Ravka Mission of Hope and Mercy, was born of divine inspiration. One way or the other, God said to me and to many, My son, 1,000 years ago, I told St. Francis to build the church of the poor and the sick. And now it is your turn, our turn, to build the church outside the wall, the homeless church of the persecuted, the dejected, the rejected, the weary. Our mission is truly one of building the Ark of Noah in form of airplanes that could send food all across the globe. We are working to change the hearts and the consciousness of the world in order to protect life, to protect freedom, and to save the culture of peace. We are striving to protect the persecuted, the rejected people, not only here around us, but in the world. We believe that if you feed a family, you actually can save a nation by providing food, medicine, housing to those in need through our assistance programs, and this is our charity. America can lead the world in purity and in charity. After we ensure a full belly and a place for them to sleep, we educate the people, we save them, we share with them the love and the truth of the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. And we save the people at home and abroad by defending their liberty, freeing them from fear, from persecution, human trafficking, forced migration, and possible genocide, by empowering them and by influencing those who can help to change the world. One of the most wonderful things that we do is to gather personal data from the people that we help. We provide that information to local churches and civic programs in order to help families that one day they can be returning to their homes after they have been ripped apart by war, religious persecution, by forced migration, to be reunited through the power of Christ in their homes, in their cities, in their churches or places of worship. We feed, we share the love of the Lord Jesus Christ. We defend liberty and mend what has been broken. This is how we share the light of Jesus Christ to the world. Because we believe that if Christianity's light turned off in the Middle East, dialogue will turn off, freedom will turn off. The concept of diversity, pluralism, coexistence and mutual respect between East and West and in the entire world will turn off. In 2022, we will feed 22,022 families in Lebanon alone. Just $50 per month supplies a family with enough food, about 55 pounds in fact, to last them for 30 days or more. It supplies medicine for the sick and the elderly, milk for the children and diapers. It provides the means to educate their children. We are looking for donors to provide for families for one year at least. $50 per month 
this is $600 per year, in order to fill their bellies, to heal their wounds, to stabilize them in their lands, to share the love of Christ with them, to educate them, and to empower them to change their family, their neighborhood, their country, and the world, and to prevent us from Armageddon. This is the revolution of solidarity and love. And this is needed around the globe. And it has to start here in America. This is truly a salvation plan. The Ark of Noah rescuing the people of God and ourselves from peril and judgment. Now is the time to act. We ask you join us in this mission. May God bless you. May God bless America. May God bless us all and thank you.